for Poland. And now another uh, guy who knows how to paddle. He came third last week. It's Alexander Slavkowski from Slovakia. Well, Slavkowski is a class act from Slovakia. We've got some top boats. Michael Martikan, the double Olympic champion, not racing this weekend. Current world number one, choosing to uh, train ahead of the Olympic Games. And uh, we still have in this final Matej Benus from Slovakia. So a strong Slovak contingent. Alexander Slavkovsky, a bronze medalist from the European Championships. Must be and quite tough knowing that you're number four in the world, but you still don't get to the Olympics. I think it is tough. Slavkovsky's been at the top of his game since about 2008, 2009. And yes, he, he's always probably been in the shadow of Martikan. But I think that is going to change, but it's not going to change in 2012. Martikan banked his place last weekend at uh, the Cardiff World Cup race. He had a straight fight between him and uh, Matej Benush, and Martikan sealed his place. So Slavkovsky will have to wait, but almost certainly he is the name for the future. Now looking back to the action, it looks like he is well ahead. He's what, three seconds up with no penalties. Yeah, this is looking a good run. But remember, we saw that slip away from ben for Benzian of Germany. So it is still about delivery on the bottom part of the course. Slavkovsky setting up through 19. Got to be tight in the upstream 20. It's good. Now, can he hold it together? Watch the boat. This is where the boat has to run cleanly through these final downstream gates. He seems to put the paddle deliberately in a specific place every time. Well, they'd have mentally rehearsed this. Slavkovsky taking quite a wide line into the final upstream. Will that hold some more pace on the boat? We'll find out. But he's now, he's picked up a two second penalty, so it's gonna be tight. Can he get inside that time? He's into second place. So that time from Gregor Kilenek of Poland looking increasingly strong there. So Slavkovsky of Slovakia only able to go into second place. A touch on the downstream gate 21, proving very costly indeed there, Matt. But that's been uh, difficult all day, hasn't it, around, around that sort of area? Well, that was the gate that uh, proved the undoing of David Florence. 